How did this Punjabi man end up marrying this Mexican lady in 1917 California? In the late 1800s, Canada needed cheap labor for its forest, fishing, and railroad industries, and so they looked to India, who was also under British rule at the time. Soon, thousands of Punjabi men immigrated in hopes of making quick money and paying off their agricultural debts at home. But once they got there, they found themselves underpaid, with horrible working conditions, and often the subject to racial discrimination. To find a better life, the Punjabi men migrated down the west coast to California. They settled in agricultural areas and returned to their familiar ways of farming. <laughs> Meanwhile in Mexico, women were escaping the violence of the 1910 revolution and migrated north through Texas to find work on the same farms as the Punjabi men. This created a unique and natural opportunity for cultural exchange. At this time, strict laws prohibited interracial marriage and limited non-white immigrants from entering the country, which meant that the Punjabi men couldn't bring Indian brides to the US. However, the United States grouped Hispanics and Indians together in one big brown category, so many ended up marrying the Mexican women that they worked with. Soon, Punjabi Mexican families flourished and developed their own community and culture, combining both of their ethnic roots. Many Mexican women even helped build the gurdwaras that are still standing in California today. But all of this came crashing to an end with the passage of the 1946 Loose Cellar Act, which granted Indian citizenship and therefore the opportunity to bring wives from India. As the Indian brides arrived, they looked down on the existing Punjabi Mexican community, and the Mexican women were even thrown out of the gurdwaras that they helped build and fund. Today, remnants of the community are still present, as children of these families still carry their Punjabi Mexican heritage. It's a history lesson that reminds us of the importance of standing in solidarity and the powerful ways that communities can come together to create something beautiful.